You know what the opposite of playing the game is? Doing what you think is right, even when it's not the best thing for you. And let me tell you something. Running for president, sure, it's taxing. you got to raise money. But it is a real glory tour for the people who do it. You get to raise your profile. You get a lot of national exposure. It's a lot of upside. Governor Chris Sununu has decided not to run. Am I happy about that personally? No. I thought he would have been a good, uh, a, a good contributor uh, to the race. But that's me. 91% Republican approval rate in his, spa- in his state. That's a high number, okay? Uh, the governor, though, he says he's not going to throw his hat in the race. Why not? Good question. Let's ask him. Governor Chris Sununu joins us now. It's good to see you, Gov. Hey, good to have you. Thanks for having me on. How you been? So you just wanted to give me one more reason to be disappointed? Like I, I don't have enough already? So you had to say, no, I'm not going to run just because Cuomo wants to hear it? <laughs> well, it wasn't just you. Look, obviously a lot goes in. I, I mean, you set it up really, really well. It, it can be a little bit of a glory tour. It's a lot of, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of time away from the family if you want to run. Uh, obviously, it's, it's a pretty crowded field right now. And the former president is doing very well. And I'm just a big believer that the others, if you will, are going to have to consolidate against uh, around one or two candidates sooner than later. Uh, it's still a lot to play out, of course, being on the, on the debate stage. And so I looked at where it can be more, more useful, most useful, right? Most useful for the Republican Party. What, and I believe ultimately most useful uh, for, for this country in terms of where we want to go and where I think the, the Republican uh, foundations should take it. Those foundations of limited government and local control. I want more independence. We've talked about this. I want more independence back on the Republican team. I want more, more young people back Back on the Republican team. And if, if doing that as a non-candidate, where I'm uh, maybe a little bit more unleashed, I can be a little bit more candid, if you can get more candid than I already am, uh, that, that would allow me that ability to do that. And I think just help the party overall. And, and again, it's, it's really going to come down to um, ho- hopefully these, all these candidates have the discipline to get out of the race when it's time. There's still plenty of time to do that, plenty of time for them to see what they can, they can do on that debate stage. But come November, December, um, the candidates that aren't doing well, they got to get out. They got to clear the field. Their donor base has to, has to talk to them and say, hey, you gave, gave it your best shot. We got to move on and narrow this down to one or two candidates. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck with the former President Trump at, at 35 percent of, of Republican support running away with the nomination. Why would that be a bad thing? We well, can't win. <laughs> I mean, look, mathematically, former President Trump cannot win in November of 24. He lost. Uh, he says he won the 18. last time. He got. Yeah, no, <laughs> not even close. Uh, and not only did he lose, but in 22, he cost us Republican Senate seats. He cost us governorships. He cost this guy cost us school board seats. And really, I'm a bottom up guy. I'm, I'm about retail politics and retail management, local control. But when I have school board members that should have won their races, they get frustrated because they're Republican and they have to kind of explain the Donald Trump thing, even though it really has nothing to do with their school board race. That's costing us. That's costing us uh, up and down. But the all ballot. the polls so I show make sure that, that he we're is promoting that. But all the polls show that he's the Leviathan. Uh, in your party. He is uh, in the, the base, main in the base, draw. Yeah. Yeah, what does that mean in the base? For the base, there's no doubt about it. Well, look, you, you have your base voters, right? So maybe about half or less than half of Republicans actually vote in the primary. And then you have about less than half of that, maybe 30 or 40 percent that are actually supporting him. And then maybe 30 or 40 percent will actually vote for him. So it's really a fraction of a fraction of a fraction when you get down to it. And he does well there. He's a former president. That shouldn't be a surprise. He's got the name ID and the money and all of that. But none of these other candidates have really stepped on the stage and had a chance to show themselves. It, there's, there's a lot in the race now, and I think it's going to be hard for one or two to stand out. So again, I go back to the field will have to narrow down a lot faster than I originally anticipated to make sure we just have one or two candidates. If it's a one on one race, Trump cannot win in the Republican Party. He cannot get more than 50 percent of the vote. So it's incumbent upon all of us to make sure we figure out who that individual is and get behind him. What did your father say? <laughs> Look, my dad's an incredible supporter, and he always has the best advice. He said, do what's right for you and what's right for your family. And, and at this time, that, that, that's what it is. You know, and look, I'm fairly young. I mean, I'm not that young. I'm 48. I, I act like I'm 28. I get it. But, uh, but, you know, there's still time if down the road we wanted to, to pursue something on the, on the national level. But I just want the Republican Party to show the best side of itself. And, and we're not doing that right now. And I, if I can be a voice of that, if more, I can encourage more folk, folks to be kind of inspirational to that voice. So people realize that it isn't just the Donald Trump show. Donald Trump's about Donald Trump. He's not about the Republican Party. I mean, the guy put an R after his name to get on a ballot back in 2016.
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.